now we got the blower door running at 50 pascals and we're going to do a simple duct leakage test on the house with a pressure pan and a pressure gauge. And basically what I'm going to do is cover each one of the supplies and the returns in the house with this pressure gauge or the pressure pan and then the number on the pressure gauge should be as close to zero as possible meaning that the ductwork is sealed and it's completely inside the pressure boundary of the house. The number that I'm seeing right now is actually 11, which is pretty bad. It actually means that it's open to the outside somehow or another. Um, and the higher the number, the more leaky that particular supply return duct is. So that's a concern we'll have to look at later. Hopefully it's the only one that's that high, but uh, we can also do the same thing with the recessed lights and see how leaky the recessed light is. Compared to the supply duct, it's extremely leaky. It's a 42. The most it could possibly be is 50 because we've depressurized the house to 50 pascals. So that means it's completely, basically leaking to the outside. So we're gonna go around the house and check all the supplies and returns. And for this, since it's a little bit bigger than the other ones and my pan won't exactly cover that, I need to get um, a newspaper or a magazine or something to help cover that. So what I got right here is called duct mask, and it's basically a, a perforated tape that's specifically used for sealing ductwork. And since the opening of the return here is bigger than the pressure pan, I need to cover and seal part of that for me to get the right number on there. So I cover part of it with tape, cover the rest of it with the pressure pan, and then I can get an accurate number. And the number looks like it's about the same as it was throughout the rest of the supplies in the house. That's good.